Happy Halloween, friends. Today we're making DIY crystal balls and carvable pumpkins for the dolls. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna make is these creepy jack-o'-lanterns slash pumpkins. I saw these on Pinterest, but in much bigger scale. And I thought, you know what? We can make these for the dolls. I saw people carving foam pumpkins in a large scale and I found the miniature ones and thought, Okay, I'm gonna try carving these. So I carved out a little jack-o'-lantern face and I just used a simple X-Acto blade and I was really careful. And you don't have to be perfect here. You want it to look creepy. So just use an X-Acto blade and carve out your face. And then we can move on to painting our jack-o'-lantern. Starting off with Yellow Flash by the brand Folk Art, we're going to go in and we're going to color all of the white in our little jack-o'-lantern's eyes, nose, and mouth, and just give it a good base coat. Inside of a jack-o'-lantern is almost like a yellowish orange, so we really want to bring out that color and that depth. So we're going to start with this and don't worry if it's a little messy because this craft is supposed to look creepy and messy. So don't worry about that. As you can see, I am making a mess, but all you need to do is just wipe it away because it will blend in later. Moving on to Vivid Orange, and this is also a folk art color. We're going to go in while everything is still wet and add a little bit of that orange. So we're going to give it some depth and you can really see it come to life. And then we're going to move on to some brown. Now you're going to use a dry brush and you're going to dirty up this pumpkin. And I mean, just have fun with it. Make a mess. It doesn't have to be dry yet at this point. We want to mix those colors. And this is what it looks like after a coat of brown. But if you're wanting it to look a little bit more spooky and old and like decrepit, you're going to go in with black. And this is by Apple Barrel. And you want to just use a dry brush and a light hand to give it some more shadows. Also, I forgot to mention that you do want to carve the top of your pumpkin. You can do it now or in the beginning. But you just want to make it look like the pumpkin was actually open to be carved. So I'm just going to make an indention there. And then I'm using Harvest Orange because if any of the white is peeking through, I'm just going to go in and this is the closest color I could find to the pumpkin. And we're just going to cover up any white spots. And that is pretty much it for this little pumpkin. I thought it was so much fun to make. And they look super creepy and perfect for Halloween in the dollhouse. Our next craft is a crystal ball for the dolls. I came up with this on a whim and I thought I would share it with you guys because it came out so cute. So we're going to make some crystal balls. That one has some color to it. These look like real crystal balls. As you can see, they look so cool. So I did a gold one and I also wanted to do one in a silver tone. So there's that. And I think these are going to look so awesome in the dollhouse. So for our crystal ball, you're going to need a bead cap or some sort of base. You can even make your own out of hot glue if you don't have these specific ones. These were sent over by a friend, Steffi, from Steffi's Beads and Baubles. I'm going to have a link to her channel down below. So thank you, Steffi, for those. So I'm going to be using one of those. And you also can use marbles or beads. Now, I think the marbles look cooler, but the beads look cool too. So it's just a preference but as you can see you just kind of put the marble or bead on top of the bead cap and you have this cool crystal ball and I love these bead caps because they fit so good and I definitely want to find more of these these are just so neat so I'm going to paint the base of mine black just to give more of a Halloween feel now you can paint yours whatever color you like and just have fun with it while my bead cap is drying, I did want to mention you can add a little gem or something on the base of your bead cap just to give it a little something extra. And I also did one with clay and I'll have to show you that in another video, but just have fun with it. Now we're going to put it all together using some super glue and you can use whatever glue you have on hand. I just feel like super glue looks a lot better when it's dry. So we're going to do the green marble. I love the green and black together. It's so creepy and it reminds me of Halloween. 
So you just put that on there and you're done. That is like it. You are completely finished unless you want to decorate it, but I'm going to keep this one plain because I do have others. So that is it for the crystal ball. I hope you guys create some of these crafts and tag me. They're super simple and great for Halloween or Dalloween. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon with another Dalloween video.